Hello and welcome to the New Times Newsweekly Review where we always take a look at top five stories that made headlines throughout the week. I am La Vie Mutang and Trudy. Kicking off our review, the Rwanda Defense Force said it is committed to the protection of civilians in the Central African Republic after the death of a Rwandan peacekeeper. The deceased was killed during the attack by a coalition of armed groups led by the former CAR president François Bozizé, according to MINUSCA. After the attack, the peacekeeping mission said that five rebels were captured and 37 others killed. Now, in other news, farmers in Bujasera district are seeking compensation for fake watermelon seeds. Normally, watermelon is harvested after 90 days, but surprisingly, for farmers in Bujasera, even 80 days after planting, the seeds supplied by a Kenyan farm, Kenya Seed Rwanda Limited, had not flowered. Charles Wuchagu, the Deputy Director General of Agriculture, Research and Technology Transfer at Rwanda Agricultural Board, told the New Times that they are set to meet the seed distribution farm and see how farmers will be supported. Now, as we proceed, the government has temporarily taken over the ownership of 1.5 million unregistered plots of land. In 2019, landowners were given until December 31st, 2020 to register their land. However, of 1.5 million plots of land countrywide were unregistered, prompting a temporary takeover. According to Rwanda Land Management and Use Authority, the Lands Authority will reassess the reasons why those currently utilizing unregistered land did not register it and then set a new registration deadline. Now, in other news, Professor Thomas Tigabo, the chief economist at the National Bank of Rwanda, succumbed to COVID-19 on Friday. The news was confirmed by a family member who said that the deceased died in a Kenyan hospital where he had gone for treatment on Thursday this week. Chigabo is renowned for his role in developing the country's economy through nurturing economists as a university lecturer and serving as chief economist at the central bank since 2007. Now, taking a look at what trended in sports news, the 13th edition of Tour de Rwanda was suspended to May this year due to COVID-19. The tournament was slated for February 21st up to 28th. 15 teams have been selected from great cycling nations of the African continent and around the world to take part in this year's Tour de Rwanda. Well, this marks the end of this week's New Times News Weekly Review. We thank you very much for being with us. We just want to remind you that this was just a review. Therefore, in case you need further details on these stories and many others, kindly visit newtimes.co.rw. Don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel, The New Times Rwanda. I am Lavi Mutangantru.